So I'm inside Adobe After Effects here and I'm working on a project where I'm creating a handful of map animations focusing on tourist attractions in New England. So I'm using this premium tool called GeoLayers 3 to put together these maps and I've already mapped all the states out, created a little locator inset map here, and I have some text elements. Now I actually want to map these tourist sites. And I want to show you how you can do this using ChatGPT. And I'll say, what are the top tourist sites in New England? So my end goal here is to be able to map out the latitude and the longitude of each of these locations and put them in some type of spreadsheet format so I can ideally just copy it and then paste it into a program like Google Sheets. And then from there, I can export it and then bring it into GeoLayers where I can map it. Okay, so now I have this list of 10 tourist attractions in New England. Now I just wanna clean this up. I wanna have just the name of the site without the name of the location. Now I'm gonna see if this can format the text and show it to me in some kind of spreadsheet format and add columns. All right, super cool. So now I have this little spreadsheet view with the latitude and longitude, but some of these I'm kind of curious about. For example, the Newport mansions, I don't, I don't know anything about these. If they're spread out across different locations, as well as these Nantucket islands, I forgive me if you live in this area, I've never been up here. <laughs> so I don't know much about these locations. So, cause it even tells me right here, please note that some of the above coordinates are approximate and they may not be the exact location of the site. Maybe I can have it add two additional locations. Let's say I do wanna have a list of 10 items. So just in case some of these aren't working very well, I'll have a few backups. Now I'm gonna go open up Google Sheets. So I have this new blank spreadsheet and all I'm gonna to try to do is just copy the data here, copy, and then as I paste it, I'm gonna hold shift and bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Now I'll rename it, I'll call it top 12 tourist sites in New England. File download as a, as a what? As a CSV? Now I'm gonna come back to GeoLayers, I'm gonna hit this little add features to browser, import file, grab this. So now I have this data set here, I'm gonna go select a new layer style, select this like darker color. And now let's see what happens as I draw these out. All right, cool. And now I'm going to go ahead and add labels here. Draw these out. There we go. Big shout out to my tier three patrons, Tyson, the key master, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flimmy plus one, Ryan, Josh and Alex. Thank you all so much for making this video possible. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and interesting. If you did, I'm actually releasing a GeoLayers Masterclass. This is a premium course that I'm working on right now. If you wanna join the waitlist for that, check out the link in the video description. I'm gonna launch the pre-sale for that in the coming months. There's gonna be a discount, so be sure to check it out. Or if you just wanna watch more free tutorials about how to create map animations and work inside of Adobe After Effects, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, or you can always head over to my Patreon and check out some of the exclusive tutorials that I have over there. And I'll see you in the next one.